Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got an unfortunate case here of a lot of tissue paper rammed fairly deep into the ear. So you can see this central reservation of white debris. Now when I first saw this I thought, oh is that some fungal growth um, or is it cotton wool? So I asked the patient and I usually do talk to the patient during the procedure. I asked him what this debris could be and he said it was tissue paper. So he had rammed quite a lot of tissue paper in there in an attempt to keep the drops he had applied in his ear. So he had applied, I can't really remember if he applied sodium bicarb or olive oil or something, but as a lot of people do, he had shoved a lot of tissue paper in there to stop the drops from leaking back out. And the logic there is that he thought that might be more effective because it would keep the drops in there and keep the kind of softening action going for longer. But, and I'm not quite sure how he managed to get it so deep, but essentially the tissue paper has acted as sort of a, you know, a pseudo tamponade essentially. So it, it's, a, it's probably absorbed a lot of the drops that he had applied. And what we have here is just a very dry hair tissue paper matrix, which is, you know, very, very difficult to, to remove with suction. So I've gone in here with a cawthorn hook, which is, you know, fantastic for this type of job and I'm just easing it out. So, and if anybody's wondering about the word tamponade, it is, it is basically the act of putting an absorbent material into a wound or an orifice to stop it from hemorrhaging essentially. So as, as you would a tampon, obviously. So that's where the word comes from, tamponade. So there we have it. There's the, the plug matrix. So it is an absolute mess really. You know, it's all entwined. So there's the tissue paper there and you know, funnily enough, the tissue paper was actually deeper than the wax, and I'm not in entirely sure how that happened, but it's almost like that you have this core of tissue paper and then the wax is sort of wrapped around it like a bird's nest. Can you see that? So rather unusual presentation there. And here's the ear. So we have a rather sore ear canal, which is to be expected given that we were, you know, moving around and, you know, cajoling it out of the ear with, with quite some, some uh, considerable force. And uh, I'm just going back in here now just to get rid of this last little flap of dead skin. Again, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense to leave dead skin behind if you can get it quite easily. Um, so that will help sort of stimmy any infection. Again, bacteria like to eat wet dead skin. Eardrum looking fantastic there. So everything's a little bit red, a little bit erythematic, but absolutely fine. And there's the, the plug. So it's a good centimeter I would say and I'm just going to turn it around so you can have a look at it but you can see that the hair that's wrapped around the the beginning so near the canal I'm fairly sure that that hair has come from the patient shaving hair from the from the external ear the little tragus area which is this sort of triangle portion on the outside of the ear so again a lot of elderly gentlemen like to shave that area so that's where I think the hair has come from which obviously did not help with the tissue paper so I think hair tissue paper, earwax together, you know, combined forms this ultra strong plug. So that was never going to come out with just using drops. Probably would have been very difficult to, to irrigate using water. So there we go. A short one today, but uh, I thought that was very interesting. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And as always, I will see you on the next video.